Alright, so this is a little bit of a different what I'm doing right now. Um, obviously, I got a couple of things open on the desktop and I got my little picture here up at the side. I'm covering it up so you can see what I'm talking about there. Um, this, what I'm doing right now, is about uh, starting a record label. Now, I'm not that experienced. I, I'm about a year and a half into the process of uh, launching this record label. I uh, got a new artist that I'm going to be featuring. His name is Vince Allen. The website is cbpublish.com slash Vince Allen. You can go and check that out. He's got a web channel. He's got um, actually a video show too. But what I want to show you guys is the process of breaking down your streaming points for an artist. This is uh, streaming. Actually, I'm putting inside of a Excel sheet. And I have to break down every month because I made the big mistake of not going through each month and breaking it down because I'm just learning the business. It's a process, so it's very kind of tedious thing. Nobody's walking me through it. I don't have a mentor, so I'm teaching myself basically. But it's a it's a it's a fun thing to do, and um, it's challenging. But everything that I've done in the last year and a half has built me up to this point where I'm getting ready to release this album by this 15 year old phenomenal guitar player, and um, Anyway, I'm going to show you guys what I'm working on. So you see this is highlighted right now. This is my Excel sheet. And I just started it. Launched the label in 3-2015. So you see my mouse over here moving around on the desktop. 3-2015. Uh, so I have to go in and break down the streaming points. All right. How much a song made when it was streaming on radio. So not on radio, but on, let's see, what was this streaming on? I have to go back and look at that to see. Oh, this was iTunes. So this was streaming on iTunes. But I'm one, two, three, four down. One, two, three, four down here. It means I'm going to copy and paste this one and paste it in here. And you notice the numbers change over here on the side. And I have to keep doing this. And it's very tedious. It's not a whole lot to look at. I just wanted to basically do a quick video and show you guys how it actually looks to break this stuff down now um, now once I have to once I do that then I have to come back and say okay which song was it that streamed? I have to copy that song that streamed, and then I gotta put that copy of that song here oops I did that wrong so I gotta take that link out and then I have to put the date that these songs were streaming and then this is a modifier that shows the artist who are going to be underneath this profile inside of my uh, paperwork. So I have to go through and do this on each one. And this is something you guys need to do for your own small businesses. If you've got a small business, then you need to have an Excel spreadsheet. And I'm sure somebody will say, hey, you know what? You can do that a whole lot easier if you use such and such program. Um, it's a lot more efficient for me to use this program. It's straightforward. I can control the numbers inside of it. I can look at it and get it totaled up inside of Excel. So it's a lot easier. And sometimes when you buy a program, it takes a lot longer to learn it. Maybe it is a little bit more efficient if I decided to use something else. But right now, this is working for me. But um, just wanted to give you guys kind of an inside look because I haven't done a, what I'm doing right now in a while. wanted to give you an inside look at what the dashboard of a record that has streamed looks like and for those of you that are like hey people make a lot of money and all of this other stuff now you know what all of these uh musicians are complaining about it's not a whole lot of money to split between you and the label when a song is streaming i'm the label this is the artist um we, we i mean it's just a difficult kind of situation to grow it but the interesting thing here is the artist that I'm using right now in this sample this guy's 75 years old he's not on social media so just the idea that the album is even selling he's an old blues singer and um, I'm just kind of fortunate that the album is selling at all you know so I can't complain about that but if you have any questions about what I'm doing you know ask a question and you know, of course, I'll respond. 
but I'm going to keep going through doing this. That's all I wanted to do real quick. I wanted to record that, show you guys the inside of this dashboard. And um, so you can see how much money is not being made on these records. All right. And this is all the way back in March 2015. So it's a little bit different. But this is it. Now, all right, real quick, I want you to see this because I have to count it to make sure I put everything where it was supposed to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that's ten. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got the numbers right. I have to finish copying which song it was that streamed. And put the dates in. Can't pay anybody if all this stuff isn't done. Now the good thing is I don't have to pay anybody on these records right now because these records have not recouped what I've placed into making the record. So I'm just going to do this for the moment and that's it. You know, I'm not going to sit here and hold you guys hostage. That's it. I appreciate you guys for watching this real quick. I know it wasn't a whole lot to it, but I thought you might find it interesting. And sometimes it's nice to just kind of keep a record of what's going on. And I haven't done what I'm doing right now. So it's nice to actually uh, sit down and record it and get ready to put this up. But that's it. I hope everything's going great with you guys. I'll see you on Tuesday if you're a sneaker guy and um, you're looking forward to Inside of Ties. Got something really dope on Inside of Ties on Tuesday. So make sure you tune in on Tuesday for Inside of Ties. What I'm doing right now, I got to get more consistent and make sure I release a video to keep you in tune with what's happening. And there's a lot going on right now. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace. I'm about to shut it off. I know you guys are like, hey, you're not doing anything with it. Um, that's it. For real, that's it. Peace.